Uh, I'm also from South Carolina, and uh, it, uh, Richard's right, your stock is going up there. And uh, campaigns there, are, uh, I think probably something you have in common is kind of like herding cats, uh, libertarians and South Carolinians. Um, and I was, I was wondering if, if you've seen any of the, uh, the, the stuff that Glenn Beck has been doing where he uh, says that he had you booked on a show and then he pans to an empty microphone and says that you backed out at the last second. Uh, it seems like a great opportunity for publicity. To, uh, he Just Monday he removed his endorsement of Giuliani and he was asking uh, your supporters to call in and he wanted to know more. Um, you know, um, I have said I'd be on his show. There was a, a confusion on that particular night, but I have never personally, you know, backed away from something I have promised. There was some confusion between his staff and our staff, but he, he's, uh, you know, on occasion is a demagogue, you know. Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, but I'm willing, I'm willing to go on his show, but he, he has been uh, just pretty discourteous. Him. He's been pretty oh. discourteous. But I, I, my guess in the next uh, several weeks, I'll probably go on his show. Good. And, Good. Uh, but, but he, he's a, it's, it's sort of, uh, how often should I go on Bill O'Reilly's show? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just if, if, you know, I don't care what the questions are, or how what the challenges are. They just let me give an answer. You know, like, uh, this idea that if you're giving the right, like last time I was on O'Reilly's show, I started mentioning something about history. We don't want to hear about any history. About history. <laughs>